Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so, uh, welcome to this class. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is your timetable. Okay. Now, uh, you all can see the screen. Laura, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, yes, this was given to me. <coughs> so this is the diploma in uh, business administration. It's the same timetable also for uh, the DIA one. Uh, you got one student for DIA. Uh, I think it's called uh, Yani, right? Yani Ling. Okay, so it's the same syllabus. Everything is same for you, Yani. So uh, this is uh, okay. The web timetable. Now you'll notice from here. So today we are doing the pre face to face seminar. So before the actual seminar, so it's called pre. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Now uh, I will have to explain about this uh, subject to you basically. Okay. Then on the 27 in the morning you some of you may have quantitative method and in the afternoon with me and 28 or so uh, some will be having uh, this is a wrong typing or should be Sunday eh? <laughs> somebody type wrong here <laughs> oh no correct sorry day sorry day 28 is Sunday I think they type wrong this okay so morning you have quantitative and then afternoon with me therefore then after that there is your seminar one and two, seminar one, seminar two. Okay. Then you again have the pre uh, face to face. Then after that, you will have seminar three and uh, seminar four. Okay. Now, therefore, the <clears throat> if you go down some more, you may have also got the revision. We can do revision earlier, no problem. But final exam week also, this is the one. So, uh, we can do early. Uh, the reason is because uh, for me, if you see the date, this is uh, the, the revision or this is the final exam date, right? Now, if you see the final exam date, right, uh, you will notice uh, it is on the 19th of February, which is actually a Monday, okay? Monday to uh, uh, Sunday, okay? But uh, you may have a few subjects okay it will be clashing so um, some lecturers will do the final exam earlier because this one is uh, for all the subjects right you have introduction to accounting uh, what else we got uh, e-commerce introduction to insurance micro econs quantitative method and money and banking okay so a few subjects so if every all the lecturers do their exam uh, this is Monday and this is Saturday. If everything, everybody do on Saturday, that's why you have a problem. Because uh, every exam is three hours, right? So we can do the exam earlier. Same thing I apply for a uh, revision, as long as it's not clashing, right? Uh, this class is actually the last class is uh, somewhere in the uh, 4th of February. Okay. Now, this is the list of all the students, right? And this is the subject, right? And uh, this is the students. Basically, we have about 19 students. Okay, we have 15 plus one more just now, the Yanni, right? And most of you are taking all the classes, except for some of you, I don't know why you don't take quantitative methods. Maybe you have taken before. So that's why we have to follow exactly the, uh, the schedule, right? <clears throat> therefore, so far, any question based on this? Laura? Mr. Chia, um, previously, yeah. um, whenever we have class with you, yeah, um, mm -hmm. two or three subjects with you, after we completed the class on the 4th of February, normally the day, of, the day after that, we are going to issue the final exam questions. Yes. So, can I plead with you? We practice the same again, so no need to wait until the 19th. Yeah, yeah. So just so that, just therefore wait. I can go to Taiwan with in a peace of mind. Uh 
as far as the exam concerned, it is online. You don't have to come and see me face to face. There will be enough time given for you to do the exam and then you can do it in Taiwan and you can do it anywhere. As long as you got a laptop anywhere with you. Okay? No, where people go to vacation and bring laptop do final exam? But I cannot just satisfy your requirement, but other students also I must consider. I think they all also agree with me, support me. We will just follow the timetable. Yes. Because uh, because uh, if you don't, because um, I also uh, got timetable for other subjects also. Please understand that. Okay. Yeah, so, because final exam is only for your subject left. Oh yeah, quantitative methods for the for the junior. Yeah, quantitative method also must be finished up to the fourth uh, of February. But no. I'm sure Miss Sarunan give exam within that period lah before the I Chinese New Year. I have no idea what Arun is going to do. Now I'm pleading so with cannot, you. I cannot Shall comment, we have I that? Cannot comment on that. <laughs> I cannot comment on that. Okay. So based on this timetable, I will send to you in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Now. Please look at this uh, timetable. Today is the 20th. Then you are 27, 28, 28, 3rd, and 4th. So from this 20th to 4th of February, follow the original timetable. Right? Now, one week after that is on the 11th. If you want to have, you still have revision and final to do, but one week after that, 11th, is the Chinese New Year. That's why we postpone to 17 for revision and give you time to do revision so that you can have the exam on the 24th. That's why the class will end on 24th. Okay. Now, uh, here I put down there uh, three hours face to face uh, location to be informed later. It means uh, <clears throat> face to face in the sense that I will be on WhatsApp. With I will be on Teams with you, not, not really face to face. Maybe I should change the wording. Here should be uh, online. Okay, online. This is a wrong typing. Okay, it should be online. Why cannot? Now, I also want to explain this one more detail with you. I will resign this thing again of course in the WhatsApp. Okay. Now uh, <clears throat> so today now we will follow this schedule because we cannot do early because of Chinese New Year. And I cannot do Monday to Friday because it is the working day. Okay? And uh, that's why it will be the next Saturday will be the 17th. If I want to do the exam one day after revision, I don't know whether it's enough time or not. Some people will complain they want more time to do, they do their own study. Okay? That's why there is another one more week. So I try to consider everybody wishes, right? By coming up this kind of schedule. And this schedule should be enough, okay, for your next uh, semester. Okay? I think your next semester will start in March. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is following that schedule. The uh, today will be free face to face. I will explain to you what is uh, asynchronous. Okay. I think maybe other lecturers have uh, told you the ODL is not a class that you come to see me face to face. A lot of the thing is you do study by yourself. Then we come here to discuss. It's not like last time, huh? or what I did, or what other lecturers did. I, I, I have no comment. What I'm going to say is that in this money and banking class, we come for basically discussion. Okay, that means you need to do your readings. So for the three face to face, I will introduce chapter one to six. Therefore, for the next class, which is on the 27th, 
we are going to do chapter one to three. The discussion of one to three, the synchronous. Then you will have the next day discussion four to six. After that, we will do the pre face to face again, where I introduce chapter one to four. Oh, it's long, huh? I know why I miss my typing mistakes. This is chapter uh, seven to ten. I will send again this thing to you. Okay. And the third seminar will be discussion seven and eight. And the fourth seminar will be discussion nine to ten. And then I will do a revision of all, all these various uh, chapters. And then you have three hours to take. Now, what's the difference between asynchronous and synchronous? Asynchronous is I will introduce the subject to you. Okay. And synchronous is actually we discuss. Now, how we discuss, I will explain to you later. Now, there are also some sort of with, uh, with coursework. You can use the word coursework. Okay, there are three types of coursework written assignment 30%. Class study 20%, discussion 20%. Therefore, if you add up 30 plus 20 plus 20, coursework is 70%. Final exam is only 30%. In other words, you have to do your written assignment, class test, and discussion and submit to me. If not, you will lose the whole 70%. Okay? Now, when you have done your coursework, which I will explain later, what is the requirement for assignment, class test, and discussion, your coursework you need to send to me by this email ID. Okay? Now, uh, 4th of February, I think whether it's enough time or not, if you're not, I will, can extend it, but not more than 24th of February. Okay? So when you send your coursework to me, this is one file in words, one file in words, one file in words. You can send all three together at one time, or you can send one by one. Each time when you send your file to me, words file, your coding, coursework file name method. How do you code your file name? Put your student name. Like for example, uh, Muhammad, dash ODL, dash money, uh, sorry, uh, dash ODL money, dash assignment. So I know it's from Muhammad, you are starting ODM money and you are doing assignment. If Nora wants to send their class test, so Nora will put Nora dash ODL money dash class test. The reason is so that I can see who is sending. Now, sometimes uh, students, their email ID is not the same as registered in the Lincoln database. Maybe you change your Lincoln ID, your email ID, and you didn't inform me. Or you didn't inform you, or you did not upload your latest email ID inside the LinkedIn database. So I will receive email from people that is not that I know of because it's not inside the LinkedIn database. Okay. And secondly, your name may be different name. Nora, you your name is Nora, but your 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 message coming out is a different. Uh, ID. I got situation like that. Okay. And also I got situation whereby students have the same names. So it's very important for you to put the word ODL money. Yeah, because uh, if you just put short form, okay, uh, very common name for Muslim lady is Nuru or even Akta, right? And uh, some common names, uh, Chinese name, they just put the word Lim. Well, there's so many limbs around, oh. There's so many noodles around, so it's very important that you put very clearly and what you are sending. Because I, I have this semester, most likely uh, this uh, November semester, I got, I think, easily got around 100 students. All of them are sending to me the assignment, class test, and also uh, discussion, uh, midterm, presentation. So please make your file name very easy to understand, so I can put you correctly and who is who, okay? And also another thing, sometimes you all may have changed handphone numbers, right? And uh, you need to update the lecturer and also update your LinkedIn database. Because we, when we want to contact you, we cannot contact you because we don't know if you have a new handphone number, okay? 
So far, any question based on this? Laura, do you want to change the, hmm. the what? Uh, hmm. The deadline for the coursework? No, I just want to change the exam date. That's all. But you can, you can notice uh, the last seminar is on the fourth. Next week exam is Chinese New Year, no? Right? So we cannot have it early. No. If, it, if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you people are working, isn't it? So therefore, you, can give us, you can give us from 5 to 9. Uh, no. So four days. Uh, no. Uh, no, that's actually uh, not my method. Your class test should be within, your, your final exam should be only three hours. You may, you may finish it, and then maybe extra one hour to send to me your final exam. I don't know. So I, I cannot have five to nine. I'm not. I'm not that smart, lah. I'm an old lady. How to write no, so I know, far? I know that. I know that because uh, all exam because if known to the government that we give eight hours exam, Lincoln will be. In big, I think Lincoln and me will be in big trouble. How can you have exam eight hours? It's not logical because the exam is catered for three hours. So if that's why the uh, exam will be from two to five, and you have an extra one more hour to send to me in case your line is down, uh, whatever. So just one more hour. So we have to follow very closely, two to five. Uh, I will give you the final exam paper most likely one hour before the exam. In the is this is this rules is only um starting this semester? No. I don't, I, I do not know uh, other lecturers, uh, but this is uh, my, my uh, standard. Now, if you want to request from nine to five or something like that, you have to check with uh, Arun, and then Arun must direct to me. Uh, he himself I'm, gave us uh, two to three days for the final examination. Uh, then please, that is for his paper. So if you want more time, whatever, please, please check with Arun. And then Arun will come back to me and then I will talk to the dean and together with Arun and then we will decide for this paper money. Other papers, other subject, I don't want to comment. I'm not, I, I, I cannot comment also because I'm not the other lecturer. But I'm the lecturer for this subject. I want to stay three hours. So uh, you have a right, you have a right to appeal. If, if, I'm not saying you have a no right to appeal. Please appeal to Arun uh, to bring you up with the dean if you want to. And then uh, let the team direct me because so far I have no directions to have nine to five. Okay, I cannot I cannot break the rules too easily. I can only give you extra one more hour for you to send in because maybe you are lying down. So if you are lying down faster, you run to one the computer shop. <laughs> uh, if your house lying down or your laptop down or whatever it is. Right, so you have to faster run to the computer shop and send it to me within one hour. Very straight one. Now it's so straight that the attendance must be 80%. That is the new ruling. 80% for classes attendance. If you are not 80%, by right, the lecturer will not let you sit for the final event. We have new rules coming. Okay. So, Nora, I'm not saying that you cannot appeal. Please go ahead and appeal. <clears throat> but I cannot just listen to your request. <clears throat> you, you all, whoever wants to appeal, appeal it to the dean and Arun. They will talk to me and they will give me directions. Is that fair enough for you? Yes, I will do it right after this. Okay, up to you. Please send official email to uh, the dean and also official email to Arun. Do you have the dean uh, email ID? Yes. And also Arun? The dean, right? You're talking about the dean, right? And yeah, Ms. Aruna, yeah, yeah, I do have. Gosh, gosh. Oh, Ms. Gosh. I see. Ah, I see, gosh, I see. Rigid. Now, the rest of y'all, uh, if you want to appeal, so I can give you the email ID so that you can appeal to the dean if you want to change the, the schedule or anything like that, right? Or anything, it's fine. It's, it's your right as a student to appeal. It's not the issue, okay? I just follow instructions, that's all. Huh? Okay, <clears throat> there's nothing more I can say that, than that. Okay, uh, anybody else got any question based on uh, this 
<coughs> this schedule? Uh, sir. Yes. Uh, the phone number need to be changed, right? In the database, you need to change your phone number and your email ID. Uh, I try to to come to enter the ODL link, but I can find I can't find it. Okay, if you have any changes on email and uh, address, uh, you can uh, send in the WhatsApp message group. What is your new email ID or something like that? That's very important that you give me your new phone number and your your, your new ID, right? Then uh, if you if you have any changes, if you want to do that, then uh, please send the message into the WhatsApp group, and then uh, I will take it up with Arun uh, and say maybe the if the if the LLS system is not working, uh, we will try to solve the problem for you. Okay. Now you have to understand, I cannot access the student ID, the LLS system, because I'm a lecturer. I don't have password to enter into your system, right? So I cannot just change for you so easily. But you all know how to go to LLS? You all know what's LLS? Hello? Uh, Lincoln Learning. Yeah, you all know how to go to Lincoln Learning System? Yes, sir. We got the link. So from that link, actually, it's very simple to, to, to do that. So if you just, uh, just here, you can go to, you just type Lincoln LLS, okay? Lincoln Learning System. Okay, you can just come to here, right? Now you have your, here is your, <coughs> Your ID. So for I think for Malaysian, your all Malaysian, your ID is the IC number without the dash dash. Okay. So maybe IC number is for example uh I don't know one two three four five six dash o five dash one two three four eight. The two dash take it away. The original password is called password. The original one is default to password. You can change later on. So when you enter into here, you can see your 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 result, your attendance or whatever it is that uh, is available there. Now, I don't have access to this uh, Lincoln because it is your individual one, okay? So inside here, I'm not too sure whether you, can you key in your new email ID or not. I'm not too sure. But uh, if you can, please do. If you cannot, then send it to WhatsApp group, then uh, we will try to update your, your, your database, okay? Update your database. And also, it's very important uh, to look at your Lincoln uh, system database because for example if your name is uh, uh, for example if, if your name is Chow Weekend like me right but it was recorded as weekend Chia okay instead of Chow Weekend but in the database is weekend Chia they put the surname in the bag or something like that your <coughs> certificate when you graduate will follow the database okay <coughs> so if you want the, your database to, uh, to be updated so that your certificate when they issue to you the diploma will show the correct sequence of your names. Okay? Now, sometimes when they, uh, there may be some human uh, error when they uh, register you a student, maybe they type, instead of the word O, they have the word A, then uh, you, you may have uh, different, slightly different name in your certificate. So, it's good to look at your your database okay it's good to look at your database to, to check okay your your status okay this is how you go to lincoln learning system put in your ic number here and put in password or you have really changed your password put in your new password okay but anyway if you put in your name uh, if you put in your what your ic number and you put your, your old password and you say it wrong if you say wrong no issue because at the bottom you can put uh, forget password, then forget a password, click here, and then they will send a new password to your email. But if your email is also wrong one, uh, and <coughs> therefore there will be a problem. Okay? Okay, so far any question? No, sir. Okay, so I will wait for you all, uh, because we still have time. Uh, if there's any changes on the dates, right, after your appeal, please let me know. 
Other than that, uh, if there's no changes, then we will follow this one. So, so if Nora want to appeal, go ahead, Nora. And if there's any changes, uh, I will welcome it. I'm not say I don't welcome it. I will welcome it, of course, uh, once the dean has agreed on the changes. Okay, because I'm only a lecturer, so I have to follow uh, directions from the dean and the coordinator. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to start with this. Uh, Now, this wording actually uh, come from just now. See? So what does actually this wording means? Okay, so let's go to internet. So this means allow you, the student, to learn on your own schedule within a certain uh, time frame. You can assess and complete lecturer reading homework and other material anytime during one or two week period. Normally, our case is uh, one week, one week because we always have uh, classes uh, on the weekend. Okay. So what it means that you have to learn on your own schedule. Okay. Now uh, the second word is called synchronous without the A, okay? So what does synchro synchronous mean? So, refer to all types of learning in which learners and are in the same place at the same time learner to, for, for learning to take. This includes in-person classes, live online meeting where the whole class of smaller groups get together. So therefore, that we, sometimes we use the word seminar one, two, three, and four, okay? Because uh, it's actually a seminar, that's why it's students. But the important point is uh, the earth, uh, earth synchronous. Okay, you have to learn by your own schedule. Okay. Uh, so I will start with, uh, I think timetable started already. Huh? So uh, let me just uh, save this one first. Save as you know, huh? computer be slow. Because I made some changes. Okay. So I will start with explaining to you what is this course about. Now I have sent to you in the WhatsApp group a thing called a module outline. Module outline. So sometimes we use the word module, sometimes we use the word subject. Okay, so in this case I use the subject module outline or subject outline. And it will tell you this is your course you are doing diploma and you are BNG 250, right? Uh, for uh, Yanni, your code is different, I think. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that, that's another code for you, but the, the topic are the same, okay? So this is already sent into your WhatsApp group. So this is the introduction, and this is the important one. Uh, the first one is introduction, you can just do yourself. The second one is the, uh, the uh, course learning, uh, we call it the course learning uh, outcome. Okay, so at the end of this class or uh, this subject, what you should have learned is or the ability to do these three things. Define the role of money and so forth, analyze the implication and explain the monetary policy. So these are three things that you should be uh, able to uh, understand. Okay. <clears throat> so most of the final exam question will be based on these three, okay? And the assignment also. So this is the under lecturer, and this is a three hour credit class, okay? And this is a brief description, and these are the 10 chapters. Why study money and banking? Number one, number two, overview. Number three, what is money? Number four, time value of money, number five, the meaning of interest rate, the behavior of interest rate, banking and the management of financial institution, central banks, tools of monetary policy. Uh, I think some you may have studied under your, I think macroeconomics, but this one, this portion here relates strictly to money and banking, and then the financial crisis. Okay, 
Now, uh, if I look at the WhatsApp group, uh, right, I'm actually referring to this is the class. This is the module online. Okay, I'm referring to this one. You can download and see. So I will continue to explain, right? And uh, this is the mark, like I say, 30, 20, 20, right? And this is your final exam. Now, uh, it is a requirement that you must do this one. Now, if you don't do this one and you only do this one, we will not allow you to see for this exam. Okay, you have to do all this. Okay, how much mark is a different issue, but you must attempt to do that. Okay. Uh, the reason is because when you give it back to me, I can see whether you are ready or not ready to sit for exam. If this is done quite badly, maybe you are not ready to go for final exam. The lecturer has the option not to let you sit final exam because if this is not done properly. Because only by doing this, and if you have done it properly, therefore the lecturer can conclude that you are have readiness, that you are ready to do the final exam. Okay? And so you have to remember, yes, one assignment, one class test, and then discussion, and this is the uh, reference. So this is the main reference. This is the second reference. These are basically books, okay? And this is also the additional reference. Now, this book has a reference I already given to you. What's the reference book? Here, you can download. This is the WhatsApp, okay? Oh, you got this WhatsApp? So you have the money banking and you can download the book. Okay, now how does the book looks like? So let me just look at it. One moment here. One moment here. Uh, this one also I think you can see. Where is the book? Yeah, this is the book. So this is the book that is given to you, but of course it's several and 20 pages, it's too much, right? And uh, of course it covers, this is the main book, it's a very famous book actually. So it covers many, many chapters. But we're only looking at 10 chapters. So when you want to do referencing of the 10 chapters, okay, uh, you will see that, uh, for example, chapter one is the same, chapter two is the same, chapter three is the same as the, as the syllabus. Uh, meaning, behavior, okay, then some is missing, because it's not, in, uh, not relevant for your syllabus. And, uh, what financial crisis? This is also inside your uh, syllabus, so you know you don't have to read the whole book, right? The tools of monetary policy is also inside the syllabus, okay? Uh, you don't have to read the whole book; it's a, just a reference book. If you want to have reference, you look at the chapter that um, uh, the ten chapters, then you come back to this book and look at the same name, and then you can uh, how do I say? It? Uh, have uh, you, you can do additional reference based on the respective chapters because this book I think how many chapters are twenty old chapters right. twenty six chapters okay so some chapters are not uh, relevant for you okay uh, so far any question Yanni any question no sir okay good. So we are continue with this one, right? Now in this module online, please, uh, if you want, you can download, you know, uh, whatever it is. Then uh, you have to do, like I say, uh, the three. Oh, where's the three one? You have to do the three course here. Okay, you have to do the three course here. Okay. So maybe now I will talk something about course work. Okay, now uh, if you remember, you have to send your course work to me. The tentatively is the uh, fourth of uh, February, unless you appeal, and then uh, the dean asks you to change otherwise. But the course work uh, cannot be after twenty fourth of February because I need to see your course work. I want to see whether are you ready to do the final exam. You understand? So therefore, your course work cannot be. 24th of February. If I find from your coursework that you are not so good, 
and we have to give you an extra tuition or ask you to redo again so that I will make you ready for the final exam. That's the logic. Okay? The coursework must be done before obviously the final exam. Okay. Now uh we go back again. Now uh, I have given you sim. Now actually uh the face-to-face -face class, that means you come to class face to face to me, is actually for this kind of subject is actually 13. Uh, sorry, 12, 12, 12 plus 1, 13. 12 classes, maybe but one more for midterm. Okay, so if you compare ODL with normal student, uh, face to face student, uh, come for official uh, uh, lecture in the lecture hall or a lecture room, they actually got 12 sessions of teaching. Okay, but in ODL, you only got maybe four seminars. So we are comparing 12 with four. So this is a different different method of teaching in ODL. So what the ODL does is that they give you SIM. What is SIM? SIM stands for uh, instruction material. Uh, I think it's student instruction material. Okay. And you have chapter one, two, three, four is basically not PowerPoints, it's basically reading. So you you go and read. Okay. So here got all the, the chapters. I think got one chapter eight is missing because I delete and then I give you a new chapter eight. Okay. Yeah, chapter eight. Okay. So let's let's look at the scene first. So you just look at any any scene, right? So this is an example of chapter one scene. Now you don't have to memorize. Under asynchronous, the material is given to you, you are supposed to read. That's all. We are not asking you to memorize. Okay? We want you to read. Then you say, sir, how come I read SIM? I also read the reference book. That's not the reference book. Now, the reference book is given you for the additional reference. Okay? It's not really compulsory for you <clears throat> to look at the, the book, the ebook. <clears throat> but it's important for you to look at the SIM and come for class. So how should you do? Now look at the timetable again. So today I will introduce chapter one to chapter six briefly. Then before you come to class on this day, you are supposed to finish three chapter reading, brief reading. Okay, no need to memorize. Okay, just to have a, a feeling. Then after that, you will have before you come to this class, you must have finished reading the same four to six. And before you come to this class. You must finish reading seven to eight, and before you come to this class, you must finish reading nine or ten. That is the general rule. Okay, that's the general rule. So, what is a sim? So, a sim is like, for example, chapter one. So, this is the learning outcome. Now, this learning outcome is the same learning outcome you see in the module outline. Okay. It's nearly the same. So let's say, for example, this chapter one, preview, why study, money, define, money, aggregate. Understand? So if you go to the module online, it's the same. The main main item, why study financial, why study banking, why study money and monetary pursuit. So I didn't write everything, but this is just a summary because in the module online, you no need to write very detailed, but the same will have more detail. Okay? So in chapter one, uh, you will ask you to refer to which chapter, okay? So this is the ebook. You can also get additional uh, from this uh, chapter, okay? From the ebook. So uh, preview, okay? Then you have uh, why study financial market and so forth. Okay, bond market you read. Okay, then, then at the end of every sub topic. There is an activity. This is where, now for, for example, this chapter one, uh, 
one activity is here. Why study banking? There may be a different activity. What does a financial crisis occur? Oh, okay. There may be another activity. This is just chapter one. How is money supply related to business cycle inflation? And so forth. So every one of them, every sub chapter, there will be an activity. Now, what does this activity mean? Okay. And how is it going to be used? <clears throat> so we go back to here again. When we do the synchronous for chapter one to three, now there are three chapters and each chapter also got many activities. So I will select some activity and I will show it up and then we discuss on this activity. Now, what's the meaning of discuss? The meaning of discuss is, let's say for example, where's the sim? Okay, let's look at this activity. How is consumer price index calculated? I would like to open this subject for discussion in next week. Okay, so in order to discuss, you must have read the sim for this one. The previous, on top of the word activity, you have those things to read. That's why you need to read and to come to discuss this activity. So, <clears throat> And during the during the well, uh, during the next week class, I will talk, I'll be doing chapter one and three. So I'll be selecting some activity up and I will call up uh, people names. We got 19 of them. So I will just uh, follow whatever sequence or whoever is available in the class. And then we'll discuss about that thing. So I'll ask you what do you think? How does this relate to your work? And uh, if you're all very quiet, we, we have a problem because most likely you have not read the scene follow the, the asynchronous uh, method of teaching. For ODL students, must do their own reading. Okay? Then we come and discuss. Of course, during the meeting, uh, uh, during the seminar, uh, I will also highlight uh, which area needs to uh, be uh, included. I will, I'm also part of the discussion together with you all. Okay? So it's, uh, ODL is different from class from face-to-face -face class. From face-to-face -face class, the teacher give everything, right? But ODL class, ODL students must prepare themselves. And in order to know, for the lecturer to know whether you have enough uh, knowledge is by having discussion. So you must be proactive in your discussion, okay? Okay, so you cannot be shy. Now, some of you got, uh, uh, a mic, a microphone so you can talk. For those people who will say, oh, sir, my microphone no good, my line no good. When we talk about discussion, then when I call your name, please use the chat. There's a chat here. So when you click chat, you can key in what you want to say. Okay, so you can just type my message and then we can see your chat. Okay, we can see your chat. Okay, uh, just hang on there. Uh. Before I forget, uh, I want I have to do a record of how many students are here. There are only 10 students, half the class only. Okay, so we're meeting. Now uh, I have to download the attendance list. This is a requirement. The attendance list, I will just show it to you. Okay. The screen is being shared. Hey, Nora, you can see? Nora? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this will be given and uploaded into the system, uh, lecturer system, not, not you all, okay. lecturer system. Uh, you can see uh, what time you join, what time you don't join, okay? No issue. Now, uh, what else? Uh, that is the, the SIM, okay? Now, so far, any question on SIM? Any question on SIM? Okay, any question on SIM so far? No. Okay, no, uh, sir. You don't have to memorize. All I want you to do is just do a brief reading. Okay? So just do a brief reading, and then we can try to discuss uh, whatever that was uh, uh, inside the activity. Okay? 
So I'll close this file and because I too many files here. Now uh, I want to talk about uh, where are we now in the WhatsApp group. Huh? So the sim all finish already. I also have given to you in the what uh, in the WhatsApp group uh, some case study or based on videos. So you can just play the video. Okay, uh, uh, a city with no cash. Or another video. Uh, subscribe. Now basically the one here assignment one. There was a, uh, a name that I given, but this is not the assignment. It's just a, a file name assignment one. So you can see these two, two okay, uh, these two videos. There's also one more video I want you to see. Most of the videos I think about uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, so it's not long, right? There's another video, here another video. Uh, monetary system uh, explain. I think these three video will help you to understand uh, what this uh, money uh, banking is, is it about. Okay, so I want you all to please open this uh, uh, these three videos and see uh, in your free time. Okay, now uh, we will continue. What have I given to you? Uh, Ebook. Yes. Now I also have given to you videos. Videos. Okay. Now we will look at the assignment. Okay. We we'll look at the assignment, the class test, and the discussion forum. Now, remember, this is I think 30, 20, 20. Okay, 30 marks, 20 marks, 20 marks. So it's quite important. So we we'll look at the assignment first. Yeah. Right. Now, again, this file was in the WhatsApp, so you can download. So this is the cover page for your assignment. Now, assignment basically, you can have four person, one group. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. But you cannot be more than four person in one group for assignment. Okay, so if you have individual person assignment also can. Two person one group also can. Three person also can. Four person also can. Cannot be more than four person in assignment. Okay, so the assignment title is called Bitcoin. Okay, so you have to put your student name and your ID number. I think all of you know your ID number. So you have to sign. Now you can just type your name if you don't if you have a digital signature put here. If you don't have digital, just type your name and put your date. Okay. If you want to submit. Now, what is the assignment? Write a report using words. Okay. These are the things you have to answer. So you have to answer by paragraph. What is Bitcoin? How does Bitcoin work? How do you get Bitcoin? Where here is information from? Right? You can get from uh, for example, internet, or you can get from the ebook, or you can get from one of the chapters. But I think the best is for you to get from the uh, internet and then you just answer. So how do you answer? You just type in words. Okay, you just type in words the answer. Okay, so after this page is over already. Yeah. Right. So in the next page, you just put what is Bitcoin. The next page. After this page is over. Right, like for example, this is a word file. You already open the word file already, so you just type A. Or you can copy for that. So, what is Bitcoin? You can type from here, right? And then your answer you can just put here. Now, how long your answer? Well, how many questions you have? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven questions, and the minimum is 1000 words. So maybe roughly 120, 130 words per question should be good enough, right? So you know how to get an answer? What is Bitcoin? Nora? Nora? Is the line date? Somebody say something? Yanni, are you there? Okay, Yanni, you're there. Do you know how to get the answer for this one? What is Bitcoin? How does Bitcoin work? Uh, Easy way for you is just to go just, to the internet. Just copy. Just copy the question. Go to the internet. How does Bitcoin work? 
so right that you go to internet and, 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 and think okay okay so what is because uh, how is why now see you so you go to invest you go to this here or whatever website you have how does it work understanding bitcoin between the next announcement first block rewards the nomination okay here bitcoin technology and equipment that's how does the how to mine bitcoin you have to find the, the one white pipe how to buy bitcoin how is it used how does it bitcoin work you can use this one how is it used okay or what is bitcoin you can just go to internet and find the correct answer or there's actually no correct answer all answers is correct in the internet okay you can get that okay or you can go to youtube type youtube for this message listen to the youtube video and then from there summarize the youtube video to answer this question is it okay um yes, sir. yes what's the question um the the assignment question i yeah. can download at my phone maybe but perhaps uh, i can download it not the problem but uh, at the laptop okay let's look at the uh, assignment question assignment so this is my handphone under whatsapp okay this is whatsapp app web are you sure you cannot download then you can download maybe you have to use your handphone and then use your laptop under laptop you must go to whatsapp web then you can download this assignment all right sir all right sir okay same thing for class test it has an arrow you have to point the arrow first make it complete and then he also got option to do download or delete or whatever this one okay? but if you have not do this maybe you cannot download see there's no download here so you have to click it first okay then only you can see automatic download or then you can see download okay if you don't click this one the the arrow there is no download okay does that answer your question yes sir no no issue huh? okay now next uh wait huh? i need to take a photograph uh, just hang on huh? of you all hang on uh because i need to have proof that you're attending class okay. can you on your camera i need some of you on your camera please sorry eh? i forgot okay uh, i need to uh, take a photograph because it's to show proof that you're attending the class Okay. Okay. Okay, you can off your camera. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay. You can off your camera. Now um uh, so you have to answer in one thousand words. This is the point. And this is the size. Search a page margin. I think most of you all know this. So page margin start from here, like one inch, one inch. The top is one inch, and bottom is one inch. Okay. Uh, now you have to. This will be your cover page. It's the first sheet. Okay. The second sheet is words. Okay. So your cover sheet is very important because I need to know the student name and your the ID. Okay. So where you get answer from? All can get from the internet. Okay. No issue. Now, uh, this is 30 marks, so let's go to class test. Now, class test also got a cover sheet, right? Uh, subject name, ID, the date, and then these are the answer here, question here. Elaborate on the three fundamental functions of money. Where you can get the answer is you can get from the SIM or you can get from the internet. Okay, you can type the answer here, no issue, right? Uh, so here, 
You must put the word. No, some, some people put the word like this. This is my answer. But when you send to me, when I want to print your answer, my printer has no color. So you cannot just put this kind of way. Right? You have to type in the word here. Answer. Answer equal to A or B or C or D. Right? Right? Or another way is... Yeah, hello? Another way is you can use this common paper put your name, ID, question, uh, question. So for example, the question one, this question one. You can either put the answer here or you can, if you want to, put the answer here. This is words, so you can just type over all the, the dots, okay? And then you can put the question number here. Uh, if it's an essay question, because this is a, this is a common page, that's an essay question here, this essay question here, right? This is basically an essay question, elaborate. So you can type your answer here, put question one, or you can then for question two, three, four, and five is the, then you can just type here the word question five, and then uh, question number five, then you put the A, B, C, or D, okay? So that I can understand what you're doing. Do not put red color or put a, you can put a tape, but you put red color when I print out, I cannot see the red color because I don't have a color printer. So far, any question? No, sir. So you have, you have got this, how many questions? Not so many only. Only five questions only. Right. So you can know this is. Now you can also use this kind of cover page for your assignment. Okay, you can just copy over this question page to the assignment as you can. This is actually works. Okay. Now the third one is the discussion. Now we call this discussion forum, and basically I think of five questions. Right, discuss what is time value, one method, discuss. So very simple. Type this one to go into the internet and get the answer. Right, now how how long? Uh, maybe one question, not more than half a page should be good. Okay, so just summarize it. Okay, uh, discuss what time value. You get the answer from the internet, or you can get it from the uh sim or you can get it from the uh, reference book okay so this is class text so you can just type at the bottom here so this is the same discussion so you can just type at the bottom here so yeah just now the the what what is it uh test eh? yeah this is handwritten or type? Type, 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 type is do. No. Typing, typing. Typing, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, typing is do. All, all are okay. typing, right? All are typing. All are typing, I don't care what you do, just type, okay? How about final exam, final exam? Final exam also typing also can do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay? okay? Because uh, I got- Any uh, kind of you. Because I got student handwriting, I cannot read, uh. Because they're writing, uh, 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 you're not Malaysian, uh, Bangladesh, uh, the, the, the writing uh, is a little bit different. Uh. So sometimes very difficult for me to read, so I say forget it, everybody you can do. Uh, typing for ODR classes. Okay, for normal face-to-face -face, uh, student class, okay, uh, all can be typing except for final exam. Final exam must be handwritten because you will do the final exam in the examination hall. Okay, that's all in the examination hall, you can, uh, you have to use the answer book, you have to write. But that does not apply to you, but that, that one only applies for face-to-face uh, -face students. But you are ODL students. ODL students, everything can be typed, I don't care. It's fine with me. Okay, only thing is that when you do typing, I want you to do like this. Can you see the word in here? Please do your spelling and grammar check. Okay, press here. If there's something wrong, they will say, oh, this is wrong wording or whatever. You have to amend your answers, okay? So class test, any question? You can also get the answer, like I say, all from internet. It's fine with me, you get answer from internet, okay? 100% fine with me, you get answer from internet. So whether you want to copy paste to internet, it's also up to you, okay? Or you want to read the internet and then type in your, your own individual answer, it's also up to you. As long as you learn, that's all. 
Okay. So far, any question on the three of them? Assignment, 1,000 words, <coughs> class test, and forum. So like I say, every item, you can, in fact, use here. In fact, you can use here. Use here, start to type the answer. Then use here, type the answer, use here, type the answer, type your answer, whatever it is. You can do like that. Of course, uh, here you must put your name. Uh, here, I didn't put the cover sheet. Eh? But anyway, when you send to me, I uh, will know your your name and everything, or you can just add in your name here somewhere, right? You can just put here your own name, right? You can put your name and uh, whatever it is, and ID. Okay, you just type your name and ID here. Okay, just to let me know. Okay, class test and forum, individual, no group of four. Only assignment can be group of four. Is that understood? Only assignment is allowed. Okay. Okay, so now let's continue. So we have each assignment, class test, and discussion. Uh, there's one. Uh, there's another video here. Uh, there's money laundering, I think. So for, 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 uh, for uh, YouTube for you to see. Each one, I think, about 10 or 10. Then not more than 15 minutes, so it's easy for you to see, okay? Now, now uh, when you're doing your class test, your assignment, your class test, and your discussion, uh, you should, first choice is you, you should do it on your laptop and then send it by email to me, understand? Now, second choice is that you can do on your handphone. You can download the class test assignment, <coughs> your discussion forum in your handphone they can answer there but when you send from handphone to my email id sometimes there's a problem some of you may be using uh, apple phone and some of them may be using not compatible with me in my laptop the, the software so if you are typing on words please save on words and send it to me as words don't convert it to PDF. Because when you convert to PDF and you send to me as attachment in the email, it will come out in my email as file unknown. Okay? Or even if I can download it, it will tell me the file type is unknown. So I don't know how to open your file. So you, first option, please do everything in laptop and send to me. If you want to do a handphone, you can do but when you send to me in the email, please send it as words. Don't convert it to PDF or some, some other uh, other ways. Okay? Okay? Any questions so far? Very clear? The rest is not. Sir? Okay. Yes? Is it the assignment we need to do well, together with group? Is it compulsory or we can do individual? You can do individual. Okay. Group Thank you, sir. is maximum four person, okay? Okay. You can do individual. You can do two person in the group, three person in the group, four person in the group. That's all. Okay? Any more questions on this so far? Okay. If that's the case, if there's no more question, then uh, I will close some of the files away with the module online. Uh, what is this? Assignment. Okay. Uh, class test. Right. Uh, what is this? Business discussion forum. Okay. Let's let's look briefly on what is money and banking and why must you study it. Okay. So chapter one will explain to you. What is money and banking? Now, uh, I'm, I, I won't go through the whole thing. You're supposed to, to read. If you are not so clear about anything, put your question uh, in the class or put it into the WhatsApp. Okay? Now, uh, let me sort of summarize. Why must you study financial market? Uh, what is financial market? The stock market, the bond market, those are financial market. Why, why do you need to start, uh, study? Because you may want to invest in this kind of markets. 
you want to buy shares or you want to buy bonds. So you need to know something about this kind of uh, financial markets. Okay. Now the next is why must you study banking and financial institution? Now banks, most of you know what is bank, so I, I, I don't have to explain to you what is a bank. But what is a financial institution? Let me make it a bigger size so you can see it. A financial institution is like, for example, uh, EPF, KWSP, Amana, Amanam Saham, Muin Bhutra. These are financial institutions. Insurance companies, okay, investment bankers, these are all financial uh, institutions. What is banking? Banking is like, for example, Maybank, CMB Bank, Public Bank. Now, why do you need to study that? So that you can understand okay, how banking operates. How does banking operate? Now, in the future chapters, you can also study more detail what is uh, banking and finance. So the important thing is you need to understand how they operate so that you can use them correctly. Okay? Now, uh, why study money and monetary policy? Now, monetary policy, maybe you have studied something in the economics, macroeconomics, but here only related to uh, money uh, money subject, which we are touched to later. Another question is, why study money? Now, uh, I think from the very beginning, I want to make clear, and uh, even though a lot of people have a different type of uh, definitions, right? And I want to make clear, money means many things. In your wallet right now, you have a paper, 5, 10, 20, 51, right? That is called currency. The actual definition of those paper and those coins, the actual name we give to them is currency. And what is money? Money is bigger than currency. Currency is only a small portion of money, roughly around 5% of all money, 100% money, 100% oh, money, 5% is only the currency. Then you say, hey, Mr. Chai, is something wrong? We thought money is that paper and that is 100%. No, okay, that is wrong. Okay, now why is that wrong? Now, I will give you an example. When you have a current account, you no, know, a saving account and current account with the bank, the bank gives you a checkbook. You write the check. You give the check to somebody. That is money. To the person who receives it. That is money. To you because you're giving some money from your current account to buy something to the seller. That's money. Another type of money is when a bank gives a loan. What happens when the bank gives a loan? Does the bank, okay, let's say for example, Nora. Nora, are you there? Say something, Nora. Nora, where are you? Oh, Nora, where are we? Okay, now my. Uh, Alicia, Alicia, are you there, Alicia? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's say, Alicia, you go to the bank, you want to borrow one million ringgit to buy a condo. Okay? Okay. Now, the bank, May Bank, give you the loan. One million. Does the bank actually give the paper currency to give to you? Do they give one million paper currency and go to your house and give to you? Uh, no, sir. They ask you to open the account and they key in the number to you. Yes, correct. Right? 
Then they give you a checkbook or they give you an ATM card. Correct? Mm, yes. Now you take the one million, you go to the Bermuda, the housing developer. Understand? Mm. So the seller of the house say one million. Now. Do you take actually okay. one million currency and you give to the housing developer? No. One million currency. No, sir. You will write a check or you do a do it now transfer. Is that correct? Mm, yes. All right, huh? Mm. Okay. So what does that okay. mean? That is also money because you can buy a house. So the bank is also money because the bank can lend you this one million. To you, that is money because you get the money from the bank. Now you take the money, one million, the loan amount, and you give it to the developer. The developer, developer give you the house. Do you take the paper currency and give? You don't. So the now the developer receives the one million in the account. It's all numbers keep punching into computer system and printing out the statement. Right now, the developer take one million. Maybe he want to give it to the cement maker, give it to the stone maker, to the painter. So how does he get his services? The developer also transferring money. So the the developer will transfer money to the cement person. The cement people get the money, buy the sand, buy the limestone to make the cement. The cement manufacturer also employ people to prepare the cement, all these are money transfers. Of course, the cement fellow can draw money and pay salary as currency. But nowadays, most of them we don't do. We just transfer money to the account of the employee. Now the employee in the account of ATM machine, they can also draw the paper money, but they can also, the employee pay for Maxis card, la, Maxis uh, U mobile, or whatever electrical bill, they use the QR code or they do it the bank transfer or do the do it now. So that's why I say only 5% of the market money is only currency and notes. Please understand that. The other 95% is basically when banks give a loan. So that is the beauty of it. In other words, Bank Nagara is printing paper currency. Bank is out of the air, out of the air. Bank is creating money when they give you a loan. Understand? So, if you look into the WhatsApp, when you see the video, Oh, sorry. When you look into the website, you see the first one, a city with no cash. In China, many many cities, many small towns, they don't carry paper currency. They carry handphone with a QR code. Linking to WeChat or Alibaba. That's all. They don't carry paper currencies. Because paper currency is messy. Paper currency, you must keep nicely. It won't get stolen, won't get dirty or whatever it is. So they just carry handphone. Like you are right now in Malaysia. What do we do? We QR code when we buy something. All right? So in China, it's more than that. They stop using currency, which have a problem. If you are a tourist in China, tomorrow you go to China. What are you going to do? You go to paper, you go to money, uh, money changer in the... Uh, Supermarket, you change your money to renminbi. Then you take the currency and you go to China and you try to buy things. Many people don't want to sell to you because very difficult. The sellers, even the beggars in China, have got a QR code for you to scan to transfer money to them. Okay. Now I want to explain to you another issue.
In Malaysia, what do we do? Or in the rest of the world, what do we do? You, the buyer. Come in with the seller. When you buy things, who do you pay the money to? You pay to the seller? Yes, of course, if it's cash. One method is cash. To go to the seller. Okay? Another method, what do you do in Malaysia? You are a buyer again. You scan. A QR code. All right? Does it go to the seller? You buyer, you scan the QR code weapon, you go to a bank. Which in this case, maybe May Bank or whatever bank. So let's say for CMB. And CMB will pay to the seller. Then CMB later will ask you to pay. Maybe now will ask you to pay or reduce from your bank account, right? Almost instant. Now, you think CMB will do this thing free? CMB now will have got a, a charge. Who does CMB charge? CMB to charge the seller, 2% or 3%. You won't realize that. That's why many sellers, they do not want you to use QR code. They want you to use cash. But maybe it's convenient for you, the customer, so seller will jack up the price. Seller jack up the price. If normally you're buying four, here ten dollars. Maybe here they were buying. If you use this way, the seller really jack up the the price of the product by two percent or three percent. That's what you normally do. So you have the first option, and you got a second option, right? So you have the same thing. If you are using a visa card, now when I say scanner, it can be like, for example, the you mean a scan the QR code, or you can like the wave, you know, the wave. Okay, so you are buyer, you use the visa card, right? For CIMA, uh, CIMB, and CIB will also charge again for we if you are buying from a, 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 a seller, they may charge up. They may they increase the price because they have to pay for this bank. In other words, bank is getting some money somewhere most of the time. That's why bank is so good to give you the ATM, the saving account, and everything. Understand? Because they have a charge. They want to have a charge. That's where the bank can make some money. That is in China. Sorry, this is in Malaysia. Now we copy the whole thing. Now we're going to see China. How does China do? 
And this is very advanced. Even US can okay. You can either buy cash or you scan a QR code, it goes to not a bank. It's not a bank. Okay, you can go to WeChat or Alibaba. Alipay. Ali. It's not a bank. Okay? And in China, if you're also using Visa, they also got WeChat or Alibaba or Alipay. There's no bank. There is no charge. So, hey, how come, uh, how come the WeChat so good? Uh? No charge. Uh? So, how does WeChat get their money? How does WeChat get their revenue? Advertising. WeChat will charge for advertisers. So the advertiser will pay WeChat. You want to advertise the product, you pay WeChat. That's all. Okay, for example. Therefore, WeChat will not have a charge. And this is not a bank. This is a company. So the same thing applies if you are an employer and an employee. Employer will pay all the money into WeChat account. So that's why banks are very unhappy if you follow the China method. But China, they don't care. China follows China method. So now, uh, imagine that you are a, a person, an individual. Which way would you want? You want to go this way? 3 CMB, some charges, some interest charge, 2% or whatever it is. CMB very happy. Seller also very happy. You can get the money from CMB. But seller have to pay the charge. So they increase the price to the buyer by the same charge. Therefore, you, the buyer, actually pay more. And you don't get that. Right? And until the situation whereby, even if you pay cash, the price here already charged up already. Why? Even if you pay cash, the seller don't know. At any time, are you paying cash, scan code, or visa? So, the seller always increase the prices. And if you pay by cash, they're even more happy because they don't have to pay the bank, the charge. But if you are paying scan or visa, the bank, the seller also never lose out because of the price of the product already check out. That's why banks never like WeChat and Ali, Ali pay. And the banks will tell the government, we no 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 no. Government, Malaysian government, don't allow WeChat and Alipay to come to Malaysia. Same as in US, same as in Europe, same as in UK. This is called bypassing the banks because the bank will have a charge. That's why banks are very big, nice uniform, nice building, nice staff. All this, you think no need money on that. And you get the money from, from bank coffee. And a portion of the bank coffee comes from here. All these charges. Is that understood so far? Okay. Now, the second video, this one is got to do with the financial crisis, and uh, this one is quite new, 200789, 2008, let's say medium. So we're talking about maybe about 2024, 15 or 16 years ago. You better go and look at this video, it's quite an interesting video. How the banks, because they are so greedy, create financial crisis in the world. It's a very good video for you to see. And it happens all over the world. It affects Malaysia also, subprime. Okay? Banks. Therefore, you need to start with banks. Then, the last one, the monetary system. This, this one is also very important for you to see, to understand how the government finance. How does the government finance their expenditure? No. What does the government want? If you are the Perdana Mantri of a country, if you are Prime Minister of a country, you are President of a country, what do you want? You want to stay in power forever. You understand? You want to stay in power forever.
Từ đó là do cái thiện nhân A flow So what is happening? So government wants to stay in power forever. Which prime minister say, oh, do not work for me. Every prime minister in the world say, please work for me so that I can become the prime minister forever and ever and ever. And ever. Because I have a prime minister, I got power forever and ever. Now, how does the government want to stay in power forever? Government wants you to work for them. All right, yeah. Okay. Now, how does the government wants you to work for them? So it depends on what the right guy wants. Now basically, the Raya will want, in theory, want two things, basic things. There are a few things like security or whatever, but as far as money or banking is concerned, they want no inflation. That's what they want. Second, they want have jobs. Now, why does the Raya wants to have no inflation? Now, if you are, you are people are working every month, you collect salary. Rani, are you still hearing what I say? Rani, is the line down already? Who else is there? Emma, Eunice, are you still there? Say something. Hey, the line down here. Hello, somebody say something. Say hello. Hello, sir. Okay, you are here with me. The line haven't down because if you don't answer, I think the line is down. I will leave the meeting and then lock on again. You understand? No? Okay, so you can see this chart. You can see this one? Yes, sir. Okay. The government wants to stay. If you are a prime minister, also you want to become prime minister forever. You have big salary and you have power. All right. So how so how to do that? The government wants you to work for them. Every four years. So in order for the government, the like you want from them, the government know what you want. You the right what you want. You want no inflation. Why? You right now every month correct salary. What happened uh, every month uh, your salary is the same, but the price of goods goes up. You're very angry. So you will complain. Salary no go up, price go up, lousy government. Government not helping the riot. So you know working for the government. You work for the opposition. Right? That's one thing. Second, you also want to have jobs. Whether you have a business, you want to have a business that you can do a business, or you if you are employee, you want to have a job. Let's say, for example, you people are working, suddenly you got no job out. You got no salary, isn't it? If you got no salary, you got no money to spend, isn't it? So you want to have no inflation and have jobs. So we start this one. Let's say now you want to have jobs. What does the government do? Government increase the amount of money in the market. What market we're talking about? Not the fish market. We're talking about the economy. Okay. How does government increase the amount of money? Printing. They can print the currency, but that's only five percent, right? The government allow the bank to lending because when banks do lending, they create money. So there are more monies in the economy. Now, when there's more money in the company. In the economy, now everybody, or maybe you get some, uh, some money from the government as a grant, or maybe you got the Madini, <laughs> right? Madini, or maybe you got uh, 
uh, Saham or maybe you've got some sort of government help, for example, for, for uh, Wagga Amas, right? Or B40, M40 or some, whatever it is, right? Or maybe the government was try to make some new hospital, make some uh, highway. So a lot of money is given to the market. Now, what happens when there's a lot of money is in the market? Producer. The producer will produce more output or manufacturer or a service provider will give more service. Why? If you are a businessman and you see that everybody got suddenly salary increase or everybody got a lot of money, you produce more so you can sell more, doesn't it? <clears throat> so when you produce more output, that's equal to investment. Investment is, for example, in factories and also maybe you're investing more employees. So when you have more employees, means people are more jobs today. So that's what happens. Okay, so government increase the amount of money in the market. Other chapters will tell you how they do it, but basically they can print more money, or the government will let banks to lend out more money so that there's a lot of money in the market. Then when there's everybody got money already, yeah? everybody got a lot of money, so the producer will produce more products, new or new product or the same product more quantity so that what happened you will be have a lot of jobs so everybody got a lot of jobs and then you got a problem these more employees the wrong way. These employees now have a problem. They have a lot of money, isn't it? Now producers need time to make more output. Why? There's a lot of money, but this one wants to invest more and get more employment, employees, to produce goods in each hand. Let's say now, Malaysia got 100 million tons of rice. If you want to increase the amount of rice, you have to grow the rice. It takes you maybe about six months later to have more rice. All right? Let's say now you have a lot of money, so people want to buy more proton saga. But you need time to make more proton saga because we have to make a new factory, buy new materials, train more people to make the proton saga. It takes time. So in the short, in the short run, what happened? In the short term, more money raising same amount of goods will lead to inflation. And when there's inflation, everybody got pay. Right? So last time you complain, you have no job. So government give more money to create jobs. So now everybody got money, but then you have the inflation. At least in the short term. Then you all complain. Hey, government, you're not helping me. Huh? I have got jobs right now. I got more money, but the price of the goods goes up. I am back to square one. 
So what the government do right now, because to solve inflation, you have an issue. Yeah, because of inflation, now the government reduce the amount of money in the market. And how do they do that? How do they reduce the amount of money in the market? We will talk later. For example, we can sell bonds or they can increase taxes. For example, they make a lot of money, isn't it? Inflation go up, isn't it? Okay, lah. So you all complain inflation, is it? I take out some money, government say take out money, introduce GST. What happens if they introduce GST? All of you must pay more money to tax the deal. Therefore, you have less money. So you have less money, inflation will go down. Because you have less money, you cannot buy so much. So the time you go back to the equilibrium stage. Okay? So reduce our money market, sell bonds, we shall talk later, and increase tax. Now, what happens if that's the case? You have now got another problem. When you reduce the money of when you reduce the amount of money in the market. This will lead to lesser demand because you've got no more money now. So therefore, there's a lesser demand will be equal to reduce inflation and because lesser demand already, you can reduce inflation, but at the same time. Lesser demand, reduce inflation, producer, produce lesser and producer produce like so what they do, they sack employee. We need so much employee. Now you have another problem. People got no job. And because people got no job, what do they do? They complain to the government, no? People got no job, they complain to the government. Now they say, please give me a job. So the cycle keep on going up and down, up and down, up and down. There is no such thing as no inflation and have job. This is like a seesaw. This is like a seesaw. Either you have inflation or you have job. That's all. And the government will do this, do that for you because the government always say, I try to help you, you work for me. But if you don't work for me, there are any other problem, it's the next government to solve. Okay? So far, can you understand this, this uh, theory? So why must you study money? You can see. You can get statistics from Bank Nagara. You go to Bank Nagara site under statistics. You can see the amount of money. Is the amount of money going up or the amount of money is going down? And why does the money amount of money go up? Most likely the government is spending a lot of money. Okay, therefore they will go up. Therefore, maybe that's good time for you to consider what to do. And there's a lot of money. Maybe you will increase the price of your product. Maybe you will do more investment. You will employ more people. When the money supply go down, so oh, maybe inflation will be going down. Maybe possibility people will get set. There will be a recession coming. You don't invest in new machines. You don't employ new people. Maybe you're actually maybe second employees. Okay, that's why you study. So price level and the inflation rate is defined 
more uh, in the later part of the chapter. Okay, so this is chapter one. Okay, now also I want to explain chapter two. Overview of the financial system. So the function of financial market, okay, uh, structure. Now, what is the function of financial market? Now, I'll give you an example of a bank. What's the function of the bank? Now, the banks are very good. Okay, the banks are very good. Now, you got money. Where you put the money? You put under your bed, huh? But thief isn't it? Got the inside uh, rest to keep to eat the money, isn't it? Your currency money. Where must you put it? You must put it into the bank. Right? This way. When the employee, when the employer give your salary, where do they give the salary to? They give to your bank account because they know you will put the money in the bank. Right? And then of course they give you the ATM machine. Then you can draw the money. Now, let's look at the saving interest in the bank. What's the saving interest in the bank? We take the latest one. May bank saving interest. 20%. What is Maybank saving account interest rate? Below 5,000. Okay, la, let's say you're above 5,000. But well, this Singapore one. La. What is uh, Maybank saving account? Okay, okay. Oh, below 2,000, 2K, uh, 0.2, 2 to 5. Okay, 0.7%. Uh, you say you got 2K to 50K. So, what does, the, what does the bank give you? Saving interest? Zero. 0.7% per annum. All right? Exactly what the internet say. You have no choice. You have no choice. You have to put your money somewhere. You put in bank. Of course, uh, you can put money by buying a car, or buying a house, whatever it is. We're talking about just money itself. You know, the bank know you have no choice. They give you a saving account. And you return to give you an ATM card to draw. Right? Now, what does the bank now do with the money? You give it to a lender. This is the function of a bank. One function of the bank is to accept the proceed. The other function is the bank now. The bank now want to lend the money to the lender. Okay? So, what is the loan amount interest? So, we go back here and see what is May Bank. Okay, housing loan. Example housing loan, okay? Or business loan. Doesn't matter. Just put housing loan for you to easily understand, okay? Four point three five, four point three five percent. Okay, it's inside the internet here. Okay, so now the bank also know that you have to go to a bank to borrow money. Let's say uh, you want to buy a house, one million. You borrow money for your father, mother, brother, sister, husband, wife. It's not easy for them to give you one million unless they are rich. Most of us don't have rich relatives. So we go to a bank and borrow money, buy cars or buy house or whatever it is. Right? So we have to go to a bank and borrow. This difference is the profit. How much is the profit? Four point four, three point seven. Uh. Okay, let's say three point six five. I think it's six five percent. 
Bless the process sign. Now, if you have a bank license, you are you're very lucky because customers have to put in money for you. They have no place to put out. And you want to borrow, you have to pay like this. So therefore, there's a profit. Now, who is your bank license? Bank of Ghana or Kazana Treasury. Right? Specifically, it's uh, Treasury Kazana. They give you issue bank license. See, everybody can get bank license. Right? So there are certain conditions. Okay? So therefore, there are very few number of banks. So those people got bank license, they got a monopoly to make profit. They know you must put your money in a bank. They know you must borrow money from the bank. So the function of bank is to take in money and also to lend it out. The problem is now the timing. In your saving account, you have an ATM machine. You can draw maybe daily the cash, maybe five feet, example, and your transfer. If we do it now, transfer maybe 25k. You may have more money than that, but there's a limit for you can draw. But when they land out, okay, maybe cars, you can get nine years. And maybe house, maybe you want to borrow 20, 20 years, 25 years, okay, for example, 25 years. Because our house is very expensive, so you need time to pay. This is called short. This is called long. Short term and long term. Now, if every one of you bank in the money, a saving account, you can draw. In the meantime, you always got some balance in the account. Right? So the bank can, the bank know you have no pay, nowhere else to bank it. You must bank it with them. So they will always respect some money to bank it. And they always know that people will borrow money from them, so they lend out. But they are lending out for 25 years or nine years, and then you can draw your money. Maybe if your money is small, maybe draw immediately, close your account, or maybe a big amount, maybe you can draw within one, one month. Let's say you got $1 million, so you 25, 25, 25 every month, every day you draw whatever, like 30K. So within one month, you can draw the whole $1 million. So there is the timing problem now. What happened if all of you now listen to some rumors that the bank is going to go bankrupt or the bank got no money? Why the bank got no money? Because the bank already lent it out. And why the bank want to lend it out? Because they can make a profit. Bank must always lend out. When you get a loan from the bank, don't be so happy. Uh, it is your business to lend out because that's the only way they can make money, make profit. So the bank now have to pay you but they cannot collect back from the people because the people is 25 years, right? The people is 25 years, right? People is 25 years. You got a problem, the bank. Now, normally there's no problem, right? Because not all of you will draw all the money, right? What happened suddenly? There was a rumor that made bank a problem. You know what happened? All of you lying up in the ATM machine draw all the money. Oh. Rumors, may bank got problem, go to bankrupt. What do you guys do? Why up all the ATM machine and draw the money? That is called a bank run. A bank run. Now, does bank run happen? Yes. Does it happen often? Not so often. Not so often, but yes, it does happen. In US, UK, Europe, all the rest, advanced countries, many times there's a bank run. Now, what happens if you see main bank a problem? So you focus all line up in the ATM machine to draw money. The problem is you will tell your friend, hey, main bank a problem, uh, hey, you CIB bank, uh, you better draw your money uh, just in case. Uh, so you everybody line up in all the banks draw the money. So the bank got no money to put the ATM money because they already lend it out for first, nine years or 25 years. So what the bank do? The bank, if they bank no money, borrow from CIB bank. If CIB bank also got a background, borrow from public bank. 
Public bank no money also got borrow for public bank or Hong Kong bank. Until everybody banks no money, and what do they do? They go and borrow from the bank the other bank. No, first bank the other, lend bank the bank. Two scenarios. If bank the other don't lend the money to the bank, banks will all bankrupt because you all fellas are lining up and draw the money. Right? So bank go bankrupt. What happens if a bank go bankrupt? All oh, your saving account or checking account money just disappear. Right? You will be very angry. And when you're very angry, what do you do? You complain to the government, and the government very worried. Because the government wants you to go and do more things for them in the next four years. So that's one option. The second option is Bank Negara will lend them money. Why? Why Bank Negara lend them money? So that lend to the bank. So the bank won't go bankrupt. So they will take the money and pump into the ATM machine. Right? Pump into the ATM machine and then maybe. Uh, they cannot collect back in 25 years, but now the bank is borrowing money from Bank of Ghana. So that the riot will not complain when they then go bankrupt. Understand? So that's what happened. So if you are a banker, think carefully. I don't care. If you have no place, you must come to me. I give you 0.7%. You have no choice. Where you put your money? It's under the bed. You have no choice, right? You put your now you want to borrow money, you have no choice, you have to come to me. Your relative for this don't have one million. So I'm guaranteed to make a profit. So I land out. And if you got rumors that the bank of problem, the bank will turn to Bank of Garden for help. And Bank of Garden will be under direction from the government. Hey, please help, please help. You don't want the depositors to lose all their money. So therefore, bankers can become greedy. What happened now is this 4.3% for houses. Now, let's say your salary is very little, but the house housing price keep on going up. The bank will lend you, even though you are not a suitable lender. You have lousy salary. But I will, bank will still lend to you. Maybe they don't charge you 4.35%, they charge you 8%. Because if you don't pay back, don't worry. The bank will lay on, lay on your house. Property prices still go up. The bank can still recover. So, in other words, the bank will increase this rate for those people who are lousy lenders to get more profit. Why does the bank want to have more profit? Because the bank managers, the bank general managers, the bank chairman all want to have big profit so they can have big salary and big bonus. So if you are a bank, this kind of business uh, you cannot fail because you cannot bank it up. Bank the will help you. You can take risks. Okay? That's why you need to study bank, bank, uh, banking to understand what is going on in the background that you have never even think about it before. Okay. Uh, these are the function. Function is to get bank is a middleman. Get people who deposit money, those who have extra money to deposit and lend to those money who has but no money want to borrow money. They are in the central person. And in, and because of these two slight difference in interest rate. The bank make a profit. So the uh, structure of financial uh, financial uh, market, uh, you have to follow all the various uh, laws, that's all. Uh, internationalization. Now the financial market is become more and more uh, internationalized. You can bank your money overseas and you can borrow money from overseas, that's all. Function of financial intermediary, that's about it, not too much. Types of financial intermediary. Now, for example, just now I told you it's bank. There's another type of financial manager, for example, KWSB, EPF, Tumbalan Mansik, Tumbalan. What is their function? They collect money from you. After 55 years old, they give back all the money. Or 50 years, they give you one third of the money. Something like that. Okay? There are many laws in the financial system. Company Act and this and that. Okay? This is chapter two. Now, uh, uh, next week I will talk about, uh, well, we are open for discussion. Eh? Uh, these are some of the things we have talked about. And the last one is money. What is money? What is the functions of money? The three types. The function of money is composed of it is a unit of account, unit of money. It's a medium of exchange. Now, long ago, there's no money. Not yet created. If you got a cow, are you still on the line with me? Uh Lim, are you still there? Make some noise, somebody. 
Is Amiru, are you still there? Uh, yes, sir. You're still there, huh? Kitan Jerry, you're still there, or oh, you just came in, Kitan Jerry. Okay. So, uh, let's continue. Long ago, you have a cow, and you want some fish. You have to go and find a fisherman who wants to take your cow and give you fish in return. So you have to find very difficult to find. We call that butter trade. You trade goods without using money. The problem is, he only got three fish. First, you must find a fisherman who wants a cow. Second, uh, okay, your cow is 100 fish. That player only got three fish. What are you going to do? You're going to chop off half the cow and give to him? What happened to the balance of the cow? You let the balance of the cow die, rotten away. So that's very bad for butter trade. Now, this, last time the butter trade can be uh, various goods. Always is based on goods. Okay? Now, after that, they start to get smart. They want to use uh, shells as money. So instead of the dollar money that you see, the currency money you have to see, you see people are changing shells. Okay? Or now in the prison, if you are in the penjara or prison, they have no money there. So how do they exchange? Some prison prisoners they exchange using cigarettes. Hey, you got chocolate bar. Hey, I got three cigarette bar. Hey, I change a three cigarette with a chocolate bar. It's still buttering. Now, all this buttering got a problem. You must have a coincidence of ones and needs. Coincidence of ones and needs. For example, I got a cow and you want a cow. And you got some fish and I want fish. Okay, that's all. So you have to find, hey, who want cow and got fish? You know, you were shouting everywhere and find everywhere. Hey, I got cow, I want fish. Who, who is willing to change? You know, so it's a big problem. So the Chinese started to create paper money. Okay? Now, paper money is a medium of exchange. Okay, now, uh, all of you is somewhere working or somewhere, right? You have your wallet in front of you. I want you, right, uh, to take out a $1 or $5 note. Okay? Take out, take out the currency. Take out the paper note. Okay? Now, if you have a paper note in front of you, you can see the word down there. Then the garden Malaysia. Then there's a picture of the first governor. Okay. The many gentlemen. And there's a word down there, RM1. Okay. And there's a signature by the governor. Okay. Muhammad, something I can agree. And then can you look below the wording down there? Okay. Uh, Isamiru. Or oh, Kitanjali. Kitanjali, are you there? Kitanjali? Kita jadi say something. Nora, Nora say something. Nora, Nora, somebody say something. Uma, Yani, Yani say something. Can you hear me, Yani? Uma, say something. Isamiro, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Kitan, you take the one currency paper come to your face in front of you. Can you read the word down there? Below the signature of the governor. It's in Malay. Sir, I couldn't see the slide. There's no slide. There's no slide. I want you to take a one ringgit paper in your hand. Can you do that? Or 10 ringgit or 5 ringgit or 50 ringgit or 20 ringgit? Can, sir. Can. Wait, uh. <clears throat> Just take the Actually, in my workplace, that's why. Have you got already, Kitan Jari? Okay, can you read the wording there? Wang ini, Bank Negara Malaysia, Wang ini disakan, dip, diperlakukan dengan nilai. Ringgit RM1. 
Or a ringgit RM5, correct? RM5, <coughs> yes. So look at the word there. Wang ini, currency hmm. ini, sa. That yes. is recognized. Recognized, okay. yes. Diperlakukan with the value. No, uh, sorry. Diperlakukan means uh, effective. Dengan nilai with the value ring it five. What does that mean? That means this paper is authorized. Okay. The SAR is authorized. Diperlakukan. Is lakulah. For up mm. to five ringgit. Understand? Understand. When the government print a currency, it's a piece of paper. Or semi plastic paper. How much do you think it costs to print a currency? How much? It's very cheap to print. But just print it, you suddenly become five. Or you print it with the number 50, suddenly it becomes 50. So the government is printing money from the air. Please understand that. It is from the air. Because the government got a license to print. Who print? Then the government print. You got license to print? If you got license to if you got if you don't have license, you print, it's called counterfeit money. One pasu. They put you in your jail. Okay? So let's look at it. How much is the cost to print one currency note? Four point for ten ringgit, ten US. This is US side one, huh? Ten US, four point eight cent per note. 5.3 cent per note for 20 for 50 dollar 5.2 cent okay lah average lah 6 cent to 7 cent the cost to print this paper is only 6 7 cents and they can print with the word 50 100 so if you take 100 minus 7 cent the government just have a profit of 99 dollar and 95 cents You understand? It's only paper money. It's only paper. It's very cheap to print paper. Of course, the five cents is because you got watermark, you got the string, you know, the paper is very good paper, you're not easily torn, but it's still five or six cents. That's how to print a paper. What about your coins? Coins is also like that. You think it's full silver coin? Full gold coin? No. Underneath is inside there, maybe copper. Inside it. Now, you also don't realize. This money is printed. Tomorrow, say, if Malaysia got a new government, opposition take over. You know what opposition can say? Because you, Raya, do voting. Pilihan Raya. In the election, every four years, we elect a new government. It may be the same government or maybe a new government. If you elect a new government, the new government say, hey, I don't like this paper money anymore. I do not want to use this paper money. I don't want to have Malaysian ringgit. I want to have Malaysian dollar. So they start to print their own type of currency. And they make it a law that you cannot do anything with your own currency. Of course, you're angry. But who wants you to work in the new home? They want to change the paper money. You think it never happened? Last time, Malaysia is under the UK. So what do we have? We have straight settlement dollar. And then the UK people lost to Japan. Japanese people come to Malaysia, what do they have? They have print the Japanese currency. You can have the picture of the papaya leaf and the banana leaf. On. You ask, your, ask your grandparents. Or you can walk outside or you can go to Google and you can see all the various old Malaysian currency. Then when the Japan lost the World War II, go back, UK come back. We go back to UK pound. For from straight settlement dollar, right, to the Japanese currency for Malaysia to the sterling pound and then we got independent independence we got now the ringgit and we now change lucky there are many countries in Africa 
They always change currency. You have to understand. The only reason why this paper money is effective is because it's written down there, Wang Yisakan. We trust. We, the Raya, trust that this one dollar can buy one dollar of bread. What if you don't trust? If you don't trust this money, there's no issue. No, no value. African countries, they don't trust their own currency. They do in Africa, some countries, doing buying and selling US using US dollar. Okay? In their country. If the citizens of Malaysia don't trust this ringgit, that one ringgit here cannot buy one ringgit goods. This paper is worthless. So the money is actually a question of faith. You have faith that this money can buy in one ringgit, tomorrow you can buy one ringgit bread. Understand? First thing. Second thing is that if you don't accept this money, let's say you take this money, you go to a seller. Oh, sorry, you go to a seller of goods and you give them the currency, the ringgit. If the seller say, I don't receive ringgit, the seller is somewhere in the PJ, Petani Jaya. You now can report to the police, the police can go and tank up the fella. Why? Why the police can tank up the fella? Because this money is signed by the government. So the government can change the currency, and if they have not changed the currency, the current currency, if you don't use, they take go to jail. And you cannot print this paper by yourself because it becomes counterfeit. Only government has got the ability to print money, and it's only five cents and six cents of each paper. Understand? And they can print it as 100, they can print it as 50, 20, 10, and 1. <clears throat> In other words, the government, by printing money, magically, money appears. Why? Because we, the Rayat, trust that this money that we have can use to buy things. So, it's a medium of exchange. You can exchange one ringgit for one, one ringgit worth of bread. It's a unit of account. What do you mean by a unit of account? Every currency got a figure down there. One, five, ten, twenty. So it's a unit of account. You can. You look at the one, is one ringgit. Look at five, is five ringgit. So, with a five ringgit currency, you can buy five ringgit worth of bread. Okay? Of course, in Malaysia, one ringgit smaller, five ringgit bigger size, ten ringgit even bigger size, twenty ringgit nearly the same size, fifty ringgit bigger size. Some countries, yeah, the currency is all same size. It's only the numbers there is different. Okay? Good example is the US. US currency, most of them are same size. Okay? Now, it's a store of value. Does you, can you store value? Yes. We have this currency. You put in your wallet. Okay, you put in your wallet. Tomorrow, you can use it. But if you don't use it, it's still in your wallet as a store of value. So money is anything which is a medium of exchange, has a unit of account, and a store in value. So that's for currency, paper currency. What about bank? When you go to a bank to borrow money, the bank will give you an account and put the numbers. And with the numbers, you can write the check or you can transfer the money. That's for, for exchanging something. With a seller, with a housing developer. So it's a medium of exchange. Is that a unit of account? You key in the numbers. 10 means 10. You key in 100, 0, 0, you key in 1000, 0, 0, 0, it's 1000. So it's a unit of account. What about the balance in your statement? It's a store of value. You don't use it today, you can use it tomorrow. Tomorrow you can do the bank transfer. Tomorrow you can do the use the ATM card to go and draw your money from your current account or your saving account. So Banks create money by giving loans. And all these loans are in numbers. Okay? Debit credit. Okay? Or numbers in a bank side. I've got a number and you, the account, you, account holder, you've got a, a account number with numbers. All these numbers are still considered as money because they can function. Medium of exchange, it has got a union account, it has got a store. Bank. But you must always remember Money is actually faith. When a bank lends you money, he has got faith that you are paying back. 
when you transfer the money to the developer, when the developer see the money, you transfer, you are the buyer of a house. You transfer one million to the developer. The developer will have faith that this one million is sitting in his account. The developer can tomorrow use a one million for something else. So money is all about faith. So when there's no faith, what happens? Why is there no faith? For example, there's a war. What happens if there's a war? There's no faith. People worry. So when there's no faith, people don't carry money. They will take all the money, transfer the gold. And take the gold like the Vietnamese last time, Vietnamese war. Those people in Vietnam all change their Vietnamese down to go take the gold, go to run to America, run to Australia. Because with that gold, if they run to Australia, the physical gold they will change for Australia dollar. Now imagine if you are in Vietnam and there's a Vietnamese gold and you've got a lot of Vietnamese down, it's a currency day. You have a lot of Vietnamese down, you take all this down and you go to Australia. You may not be able to change the Australian dollar. If you can change, maybe that's change rate no good. Because Australia people know Vietnam is no war. So the Vietnamese dong has no faith. Cannot be trust. Okay? So basically, these are the three functions of money. And this is chapter one, two, three. Now, uh, same thing will apply for chapter four, five, six. Please go through. Next week, we are going to come here to discuss about chapter one, two, three on Saturday. And on Sunday, we'll discuss chapter four, five, and six. So you just go through the scene. You don't have to memorize it. Just go through to have a brief understanding. I appreciate if you want to look at the for YouTube. They are quite interesting YouTubes, 10 or 20 minutes. So I think you can spend your time. Okay. And then next week, we'll start to do discussion. And the discussion will be based on the question in the activity. You may not have the correct answer. It's not important that you have the correct answer. It's important that you participate. So when I call your name, you must participate to give me your opinion. I also will give my opinion. There's no right or true answer in many cases, but we can have a discussion. So far, any question? No, sir. Everything clear? Yes, sir. So we are waiting for Nora. Nora, you're still there? Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we want to do the appeal, please do, and uh, please come back to us the result as soon as possible so that I can change the uh, calendar, okay? Yeah, I, let me finish my midterm first. Well, whatever, lah, huh? Uh, if, uh, you, if I don't hear anything from the dinner, I will keep this beer. Okay? He, he will screw me, lah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I give you a tip, lah. You don't tell him uh, the final exam is 9 to 5. Because he's going to get angry. How do you have final exam? In all exams, you cannot. Even in your school. In your school, they, they give you 8 hours to do one paper. Never mind. Cannot one. Uh. But if you want to appeal, the time and the date is up to you. Huh? I'm not saying that you cannot. Yeah, just let me uh, get the instruction from the team. Okay? Okay, Nora? Where are you? Uh, okay, 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 no problem. Okay, huh? uh, okay huh? I cannot do more than that, okay, for you all. Because I have to follow rules and regulations. Always the deal is cool. Okay, if there's nothing else, uh, uh, anybody want to say anything? Anything not clear? Anything not clear? Everything clear? Yeah, clear. Okay, so I see you next week, huh? Okay. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir.